Here in our coverage, experts still looking to determine the exact contributing factors that led to that condominium collapse in Florida. But from what investigators know, the building appears to have fallen in a pancake collapse. Yeah, News 5's Renee Skinner joining us live to kind of explain what this type of collapse is and why it is so dangerous. Good morning, Renee. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Bree and Ira. It took a whole lot of research to put together this report to explain what has happened in Florida, but let's go ahead and dive in. The collapse could even complicate the search and rescue efforts. According to structural engineers, what happened in Florida is called a pancake collapse. They're named for the way collapsing floors land and stack as they fall. Now, each floor brings all of its weight down square on the floor below, and this continues, accumulating more weight and stress uh, as the structure falls. Pancake collapses occur frequently after major earthquakes or maybe the building could be damaged. But damage usually uh, occurs in the building's lower floors or foundation, which triggers the top floors to collapse vertically into the floors below. Salt water and salt air can get in. and These buildings are required to have inspections every 40 years to make sure the integrity, the bones of the building are, are still uh, stable for, for, for folks to live in. Yeah, so all that salt in the air and atmosphere can have an effect on the building's foundation and structure. The fire marshal says this is a building that was constructed in the 80s and it was nearing inspection age. Researchers have also found the building has actually been sinking since the 90s. A pancake collapse is more dangerous than other collapses because there are often few voids or pockets of space and air in the rubble. The structures that remain near the collapse site are then unstable and could fall as rescuers move through the rubble. We'll talk more about what a pancake collapse is uh, coming up in the next half hour. But for now, always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Renee Skinner, News 5.